Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be creating a slightly more substantial application in Python that is going to be more functional and use a few more of the skills that we've learned over the last few tutorials. So it's basically going to incorporate everything from variables to strings to files and all that good stuff that we've covered so far. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new file here. Uh, and then I'm going to save that file. I'm going to call it BMR for basal Meta metabolic rate and you'll understand why in a second, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just explain. So basically the basal metabolic rate is the amount of calories that you burn if you aren't doing anything active whatsoever. So if you're not doing anything physical whatsoever, you know, including you know, moving or blinking or anything like that, it's just the, the amount of calories that your body naturally burns if you're not doing anything. So just naturally your metabolism burns through a certain amount of calories uh, without you doing any exercise whatsoever. And there's quite an accurate formula to be able to calculate that amount of calories based on some information that you can provide. So we're going to make a calculator to calculate the amount of calories that your body is going to burn based on the statistics that we're going to store in variables uh, to be able to calculate that number. So I really encourage you to go and write this yourself and then you can put your own information into the formula and I'm gonna show you how to do that in Python right now. So let's write a variable called BMR in this program and we're gonna say that's equal to and now this is the formula which is a bit complicated um, in fact first we're gonna do the variables which we need so what we're gonna do is uh, this is in metric, by the way, but there's also a formula for imperial if you want that. I can uh, I can tell you what that is as well. But the metric formula is going to require uh, kilograms, so I'm just going to call that weight. And then, so for me, that would be 82 kilograms. Um, we also need height. Uh, I think I'm about 185 centimeters, and then age, so I'm 18. And if you're honest with those statistics, you're going to get a very accurate uh, amount of calories that your body is going to use, uh, you know, excluding exercise, which is going to be your what's called your basal metabolic rate. So now we can calculate the basal metabolic rate, uh, which we're going to store in a variable, using the other bits of information that we've provided. So what we can do uh, using this formula is um, 66.5 and then we're going to use the addition operator um, because that's constant which we have to add to um, what is it? I want to make sure I get this right 13.75 times, remember we're using the asterisk uh, your weight, which is weight, and then what that's going to do is remember weight is a variable, which it then refers to uh, 82. So it's as if you put 82 in here, um, and then we can go ahead and do add 5 times your height, and then add. Uh, sorry, subtract uh, 6.755 times your age. And then if we go ahead and print that, just using the print function that we've covered before in previous videos, uh, we can go ahead and run it, and we should see if I've done everything correctly. So for me, my personal basal metabolic rate is 1,997 0.41 calories. Um, in fact, we could just do um, we could we could change that so it's basal metabolic rate is equal to round. So what's that? What what that's going to do? That's pretty self-explanatory, I think. Is just round the number to the nearest integer. So then when we run that, we'll see 1,997. So that's a really really quick program but it's a little bit more complicated and it's using variables to be able to calculate something that's actually kind of useful 
and in the next few videos we or at least in the next video we're going to evolve this application and make it a little bit more substantial. So that's a slightly more complicated program in Python to demonstrate how you can use the skills that you've learned so far and in the next video we're going to be evolving this application so that it's slightly more uh, you know it's just a slightly better application it's going to use um, strings as well which we haven't yet used in this tutorial but we're going to save that for the next video and just just follow along just write this application uh, put in your own numbers and then you know you can actually calculate a statistic that might actually be of some sort of use to you